Marta and Alex have been traveling Canada's west coast for the past two years. In order to afford a long-term trip like this, they had to get creative with their living situation and their budget. They bought an RV and spent an entire Canadian winter living in it rent-free, apart from the small expenses they paid for parking, power and propane. We moved to the RV was because we want to travel and we need to save money. The rent here is really, really expensive. That was our main reason, right? Yeah, we discovered other things after we moved in that were advantages, but the initial reason was purely to save money. It, it makes you simplify your life. You have to cut down a lot of possessions that aren't really necessary. There's things in life that you think you need, and then when you do one of these, these projects or change your lifestyle a bit, you realize that they're not needs, no. and it, it frees you a bit to to leave room for other, other passions. The first night that we moved into Wayne, it was really cold. I think it was like minus 20. Minus 25. Minus 25. And we couldn't start any of the heaters at all. The electric heater was frozen solid. So we ended up on the floor of our friend's house. So the first night didn't go well, but then the next day we got all the heaters going and it was all uphill from then. Everything worked. It was surprising. We, we expected a lot of challenges, but the challenges never came. For electricity, we just had a single 15 amp power lead that ran our heater and it charged our phones and our laptops and kept the, the battery topped up if the solar panels had any snow on, on them or ice sometimes. We have the electric heater which ran all the time normally on low just to keep the inside temperature above zero and then the RV also had a built-in propane furnace which we ran to, to kind of bump up the heat when we got home. We just have a water tank so we just have like a small container to clean the dishes and then we just dump the water outside. We had like a small garden the place we were taking power from had bathrooms. No, then we showered in the um, climbing gym. Yeah, the climbing gym has a shower, so we used that. The minimalist lifestyle they adopted in the RV made it easy for them to transition to their new home when spring arrived. This new home was a Ford cargo van they converted into a cozy living space. Living in the van allowed them to spend an entire summer exploring BC without having to pay for accommodation. This is the van. This is a Ford Econoline 2002. We have a bouldering mat strapped to the roof. Bikes on the back, stuff on the door here. Come in and we have a nice cork floor and all of our storage under the bed. Fridge, simple kitchen, a nice wood roof with uh, spices. Yeah, we were in the RV and we bought a new big van and I started turning it into a new summer house and so winter ended we sadly got rid of Wayne the RV and we moved straight into camera in the van and hit the road for BC. The thing I like about living in the van is that like every van person says you just wake up in a different place every day it's it's convenient yeah. it's nice keeps things fresh. The RV was purely a, a small space. We didn't move around at all mm -hmm. during the winter. So small space. I, I like it. I, I like being close to Marta. It's really nice. We're the type of couple that can be really close all the time and be happy. It's kind of weird when we're in a, in a big apartment. It, it makes you simplify your life. You have to cut down a lot of possessions that aren't really necessary. It makes you to go outside, right? To do activities, to push you to go hiking or climbing. So that helps a lot to be active. A vehicle is useful because you move around with your house. You can go across the country and still have your, your general basic lifestyle with you. The process of this lifestyle anyone can do, but some people will have to make changes and accept some discomfort for a while until they can see the, the silver lining. You have to be ready to get out of your comfort zone and everybody can do it but not everyone wants to do it. For me the most impressive thing of the trip was backpacking in the mountains. Just get out of the van with backpacks and walk into the, 
into the wilderness and then you see even more incredible things beautiful sunrises and sunsets wildlife in, yeah. in pure nature the wanderlust van life project it, it started because we were doing research for living in an rv in winter in, in proper cold winter conditions so we we decided to do the, the RV project and film it and try to make videos so other people can see that it's it's actually quite possible. We also have a website where we put where we live, where we went, interesting stuff. We like to keep moving, we like to try new places, new houses, new projects. It's a it's a lifestyle that leaves the, the door open for, for new exciting things to surprise you. <laughs>